time since his players were caught having sex with a teenage girl inside a school bathroom. Four in your corner is Deborah Souverain talking with Anthony Dixon about how he feels about the school district's decision to suspend him. She joins us in the newsroom with the latest tonight. Deborah. Amy and Patrick, Dix Dixon says he really didn't think he'd be able to keep his job with the Lee County School District, but that all changed today in the closed door meeting. And he thinks it was all because of the outpouring of support from the students that got him to this point. At this point in time, you know, I still have the opportunity to be in their life, you know, so it's a good thing. It's an opportunity this former South Fort Myers High School football coach didn't think he'd get after several of his football players had sex with a 15-year-old girl in a school bathroom. Today, you know, is, I think that we, you know, we're moving in the right direction. A direction that keeps Anthony Dixon employed, but no longer as a head football coach. He didn't want to discuss the specifics of what led up to his suspension, but he says the district made the best decision for the students. And I don't want to say, you know, what reason or who made the decision or whatever. You know, I just think that, um, you know, with the way things are going on now, you know, you know, we need people, you know, that really care about the kids and, you know, that want what's best for them. Dixon was up for termination and had been suspended for nearly a month without pay or benefits. After an investigation by the Lee County School District determined he failed to adequately supervise students during an after school study hall in May. Players were caught on camera entering a restroom. Inside a stall, several players took turns having sex with a 15 year old girl. Looking back, do you think there's anything you could have done differently? When I go to work every day, I go to represent my family. You know, so like I say, I'm going to continue to be a great husband, great father, and a great leader. Dixon says the support from his students spent timeless hours. away from his family to be with us. Family and the community kept him fighting to keep the job he loves, and he promises not to let them down. I'm going to continue to be that person, and I just want to continue to touch lives. As of now, Dixon does not know what position he'll be filling or when he'll return to work. The district says he'll be working as a paraprofessional, which is somewhat like a teacher's aide, at one of the school's dis school district's uh, schools, but we're not clear which one yet. Reporting live in the newsroom, Deborah Souverain, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you.